We good? We rolling. All right. 30,000 feet up, you know? That's very, very high in the air. <laughs> Extremely. So we leaving Michigan right here. Um, This angry got me faded. <laughs> Man. All right. <laughs> All you see, um... <laughs> The snow and everything. It didn't even snow till the last day we was in Michigan. Go figure. But I was just like, it's the last day. Fuck it. We're going to change the scenery real quick. You know what I'm saying? So we heading off with my homies. I'm going to Miami. Buenvenido. I mean. <laughs> so we in the plane. <laughs> you know, this is the point where the nigga has to tell Cole five times to turn his phone off. Like, I don't want to get in the plane crash ever because this nigga's on his phone texting and shit. I think that shit's overrated. It's definitely overrated. You can fly with your phone on. They be tripping. I've done it before, actually. <laughs> To be completely honest with you. So the seatbelt sign sucks <laughs> when you're drunk and you hit the bar <sighs> right before your flight. It does suck, but um, yeah, whatever. I obey those half the time. I always act like I gotta throw up and I just leave. Um, what are you doing here? I'm just catching the clouds, man. It's 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 a nice view outside. I'm on a plane. I got a, a cool phone finally. <laughs> <laughs> shit, <laughs> not a not a whack phone. So I figured I'd take pictures and shit. So it's cool, you know. Let your mama know where you been at. I know it's especially because she she thinks I ain't doing shit. That's cool. So I for sure had to do that. You know, I be on planes and shit. Ah, this is where we get that little caffeine rush. For what we about to do is um something epic. So I had to I had to have that caffeine. We'll let you know what we're doing in a second. Um. Yeah, what are we doing here? I don't know. Just flying. It's just American Airlines. Shout out American Airlines just, um, for no leg room. No uh, leg room. What else? Terrible ass food. What else? And you had to pay for your wine. Whoa. Fuck that. Fuck you. Fuck that and fuck you. American, American Airlines. Yeah. You, I mean, I need TVs in the headrest at least, man. You know what I'm saying? Riding on spinners. That's me. Yeah. Shout out to American Airlines. We got to ride Virgin next time. They have better TVs. JetBlue or Virgin is all I'm flying now. Frontier, too. Exactly. Here we go. So we're getting into it. This right here is the rough draft of the script. That's your boy's handwriting. It's very sloppy. <laughs> it's legible, man. It's legible, so, it's I mean, legible enough to make a classic movie. Yeah, exactly. And that's what we're that's what we're doing right now. Um you seen Fail's name. Fail's definitely a big part of the movie. He's probably the best actor out of the group. Yeah. All of us. That's warm vibes. That is um the number two. The number two means that is a part of a transition. Here we go. So slow dance. You see the three after slow dance. It's just easy. You know what I'm saying? Like to write a movie, you have to really just know how to write a good college paper, and then you have to extensively and just structure it well. Go in. Be funny, and we never had to go to school for any of this. We just yeah, I I, I don't remember going to school for this. Do you? We just we just have a sense of humor, and we just we just do it. Smart niggas, man. Anyways, um, I think Brock got a pension for that or something. Or he got some sort of grant. <laughs> What's up, Barack Obama? How about your boy? I appreciate you rushing Donald Trump. Um, and killing Osama. You're the shit right now. Why are you killing a game right now? Put a nigga in the office and they kill the, You know what I'm saying? We find, we find the terrorists, <laughs> nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. He probably had Osama, like, he probably owed somebody some money or something. <laughs> Often. He owed Osama some money. Like, hey, my writing? nigga, I'm going to need that dub. What are you writing right here? What's going on? Um, This right here is, let me see what I'm writing. It says, slow dance. Fuck, move that hand. Yeah, I'm writing still. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking and writing at the same time. It's called so multitasking. I was for this part, so you was on one. Yeah, I was. I woke up uh, ready to do it. All right, this is post-slow dance. So this is after the movie, but it's like, mm -hmm. no, after slow dance, in the movie. But it's like, before the movie gets started, it's kind of weird. They'll get it. Yeah, y'all yo, 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 listen to everything we're talking about yeah. after y'all watch the movie. It says, jump in the car. See? That's that's an epic scene right there. Jump in the car. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but nah. We do it every day. <laughs> hey. But realistically, like, the way we write our script is just scenarios because we have a bunch of funny friends, you know what I'm saying? So it's not hard to just write. You can't write a script and say, say this and say that. Like, come on, man. You got to give Get natural, niggas. funny people creative space, natural space to do what they want to do. And the, when you're drunk and high the majority of your days, it's not that hard. It's not hard to be funny. When you're naturally funny, it's not hard at all. It's just you get everybody loose and their inner actor comes out. And yeah. Me and Dre discovered that early. Yep, yeah, it says... Just, Hand a stack for the bill. You'll get you'll get what that means. That's a thousand dollars. Yes, a stack equals <laughs> equals one k. You know I'm saying we're, we're metric right now. <laughs> Drive under the Sunday Me sign. You know that's Marina Valley, California. Um, pull up to the crib. Up to the crib. Hey, I'm I'm still writing the script right now. <laughs> Nigga, fail starts. Fail, fail stays. My handwriting oh, oh my sucks. Damn, fail stays should... outside. Fail stays outside. But that's gonna be a my funny bad. scene though. That's gonna be a funny scene. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all you're going to know about what goes on is that I wrote a script and we hop in the car and fail stays outside. Hey. 
but that was just a small part, you know what I'm saying? That was that was scene one, cut one, you know what I mean? All right, we're back to Cola. We're back to me. Okay, I'm gonna say this beforehand when it comes. Oh, hold on, it hasn't came yet. Yeah, that's when we're landing. That's when we're landing. You see the planes? Miami. The planes on the planes. Wow, I just got through smoking planes, so it was all good. That was a triple entendre. It was. I appreciate uh, that. I appreciate you. that. Thank you. <laughs> I definitely appreciate that. Can I say it for you? Mm -hmm. Your hands are rough as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My hands are rough. <laughs> Those are African Nigerian hands. You know. I just want to just throw some Goya oil on them shit. <laughs> Be like, damn, my nigga. Goya, Goya. All right, so we got here. We're about to land in Miami, though. Miami is a place that um, it's very pleasant. It embraced us, can I say, at least. If you enjoyed high school, you enjoy Miami. If you had fun in high school, if you wasn't running around sitting by yourself eating yeah, fucking planters yeah. peanuts, not one of those corner. emo kids that's in nah, the corner. But the if emos. you really was on and liked high school, you fuck with Miami all the way. Super <laughs> tough. And we're getting closer to the ground, man. I mean, I feel like as soon as we touched the ground, it went down. Because we got picked up from the airport and then immediately went to the radio station and got it in. Like. And then we was chilling with Dave Mays, owner of the Source Magazine, Hip Hop Weekly. I mean, we was just doing light shit while we was out there. It was cool. Nothing major. It was straight, you know, met, met, met B. Jizzle. Hi, hi boys. Wah. Wah. Shout out my nigga Jizzle, yep. man. What a Shop dude. City. That collection might be coming soon. I don't know. UTB niggas do a lot of things, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's just... A lot it's of not a fucking clothing line. It's not a bunch of rappers. No, don't get it confused. Don't get it misconstrued. It's a bunch of extraordinary niggas. About them decimals and digits. You know what I'm saying? So when you yeah. talk K's, we talk. We're, we're, we can talk that. When you talk K's, like KKK, I hate niggas. Mm -hmm. That's three racks in my pocket. <laughs> and we are about to land. Don't get fooled by this film either. That shit yeah. was a rocky-ass landing. And um, it's about to hit right now. One, two. That's really how it sounded. That's really. And I see my face right here. I was like, "What the oh, fuck, bro?" Shit. I look like, "What the? Oh, you feel man. that?" You <laughs> landed so hard out here, man. Crazy. And I think I yell right now. I yell. It's finna get real. I don't know if we showed it. I'm flashing right here. We have ah, it's finna get real, nigga. Ah, I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Mm -hmm. You we ain't done yet. Niggas in magazines and shit. This I is mean, the hip hop weekly magazine that don't come out till two days from now. Bada bing, bada bow. So it's out, but it ain't out. You know what I'm saying? Pow. It's like if you got that exclusive connect, then you get a next day air to your crib, and whatnot. And if you just want to be a regular nigga, that's cool too. You can wait till May fifth. May fifth. And when it hits stands, new stands everywhere till May twelfth. It's on there for a week everywhere. So fuck. It's your boy. Go cop that magazine, man. You know what I'm saying? Your boy got an article, page 31. All the rest of the stuff is irrelevant. Yeah. UTB mm. lifestyle. You know, you see all that shit going on. You see Wiz with the little, with the, with the nine to five hoodie. You see my nigga with his, well, he got his shit covered up, but he yeah. wear, he's wearing the trap or die hoodie. And you see the Taylor Gang lifestyle shit. I mean, Shut up, my it's, nigga, all, it's all UTB in here. So, I mean, that's a full page in the national... A national magazine. Shout out my nigga TV Wizzle. Lifestyle. So if you see us repping Taylor Gang, if you say we ain't moving, true. if you say we ain't moving, you really stupid. You really <laughs> stupid, man. <laughs> really if you see stupid. Wiz rocking UTV, that is true. You see us fucking with Taylor Gang, that is also true. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Take it for what it is. Moving right on to my co-star, nigga. Man, what's good? I mean, I'm saying that's my little homie right there. I ain't saying she cool. Hey. I mean, I'm not saying anything. My, my, your, your brother is one of my good friends, nigga. But I'm respectable. Yeah, this is my co-star. You know what I'm saying? It's strictly business. Oh man. <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna stop this. Before I get in trouble.